Medical aid in dying. It's been a contentious issue for years. We do thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. It's just one step away right now from potentially becoming law here in Nevada. Now, it allows a physician to prescribe pills to a terminally ill patient and help them end their life peacefully. Sasha Loftus joining us tonight with more on what this means for our state. Brian, if this bill becomes law, Nevada would join 10 other states and Washington, D.C., which have legalized medical aid in dying. We heard both sides of the issue tonight as those behind it wait for the governor's final decision. Linda Brooks Bracey has terminal cancer. The medical community has said there's nothing else they can do for me. As she nears the end of her life, she says she wants the power to choose. So she's supporting the Nevada Medical Aid in Dying Bill. The measure, also known as Senate Bill 239, made its way through the legislature this week and will now go to Governor Lombardo's desk. This bill uh, will set a policy that Nevadans have been asking for for a very long time. Sarah Manns of Compassion Choices Network says it's something many have been asking for, while others call it the wrong choice. This bill puts health care workers in a position of decision making that is not in our training nor ethics. I do remain concerned about abuses that will and can occur. In order to get an end of life pill, a patient must be 18, mentally competent, and diagnosed as terminal by two different doctors. That person would also need to make two verbal requests for the medication and submit a written request signed by a witness. Having access to it here at home in Nevada is going to make such a difference. Man says this and other protections make it the best chance for anyone suffering. This is a last option, but it's the best option. While Linda hopes others will understand why this means so much to her. It's about choice. SB 239 also ensures the death would not be described as a suicide, but instead listed as the terminal illness that patient had. It also provides legal protection for any medical professionals involved. At this time, Governor Lombardo has not indicated whether or not he plans to sign this. Denise. Well, there have been, in fact, several attempts in past legislative sessions to pass similar medical aid and dying bills, but SB 239 is actually the first that would allow a patient to end their own life with a prescription instead of having a doctor administer the medication.